Gun dealer takes on City Hall and wins. Yeah, his tricked out rifle will now be center stage at a 4th of July celebration in Lake County. Fox's Dana J has more. It's a sweet thing right here. A Ruger precision rifle with a purpose. It's a 308, all hydro dipped in a, a really cool coyote pattern, and it's a turnkey ready to roll rifle. The firearm takes any AR-10 magazine. Richard Pettis owns Central Florida Hydro Dipping in Eustis. He built this rifle, worth more than two grand, to give it away. He's going to raffle it off to raise money for Jay Ryan, a Lake County boy who has been in the hospital since September. Jay's aunt, Michelle Daniels, is hoping to raise a little money to cheer him up. The money's for him to do whatever. He likes to do science projects at the hospital because that's something he can do from his hospital bed. Pettis wanted to put the rifle and a couple of others on display at the Eustis 4th of July Festival to drum up raffle ticket sales. But he quickly found out city policy said his business was not welcome at community events. I think it's ridiculous. It's my business. This is how I make money. I make money doing this to help other people as well, and this is what I need to do. So the fundraiser to help Jay battle cancer became a battle with Eustis City Hall. Ron Nybert is city manager. We feel that there are many items, while legal, are not necessarily appropriate for certain types of events. But Pettis and his supporters weren't backing down, and eventually the city attorney took a closer look at the law. After doing some research, we found out that there is a state statute that prohibits local governments uh, from enacting any restrictions on the sale of firearms. Since putting his rifles on display is good business for Pettis, thousands will see his work at the city festival and have the opportunity to help Jay. I'm just glad to be able to help out now when we want to. The only time we're going to show our guns is when we're trying to help somebody. Dana Jay, Fox 13 News. Now, Pettis recently raffled off a rifle to raise money for breast cancer research, and he raised $4,800 in that effort. He hopes to surpass that number with this rifle raffle.